How to power your house with an electric car. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. Having an EV with V2L capability is the first step in the process of providing power for a home. Electric vehicles have come a long way in the last few years, gaining longer range estimates, better technology, and more advanced features that rely on their large battery packs. Vehicle to load or vehicle to grid, V2L or V2G, will primarily use V2L in this article. Sometimes called bi-directional charging, allows EVs to offload some of their electrical energy to power external devices, charge other vehicles, or even power a home after a natural disaster and power outage. Some new models offer the feature under different brand names, but the concept is the same. Plug your EV into a home circuit to power refrigerators and other vital home devices. How to do that varies slightly between automakers and vehicles, so this guide will give a general overview and what to remember when you're looking to take advantage of your EV's full potential. What is bi-directional charging? While all EVs take in energy from a charger to power their batteries and electric motors, some can move that energy in the other direction. When properly equipped, these vehicles can use their stored electricity to charge other EVs, power external equipment like a circular saw on a construction site, or provide electricity for a home during a power outage. Having an EV with V2L capability is the first step in providing power for a home. Owners wanting to use the capability will also need a home charger that can receive electricity or a method to connect the vehicle to the house. The special home chargers are not common yet, but some companies have forged ahead with new products that help owners get the most out of their new EVs. Additionally, owners will need an agreement from their electricity provider that helps prevent overpower scenarios, and it's a good idea to use available apps and software to manage the electricity return and take advantage of cost savings or rebates if they're available. How to use V2L or bi-directional charging. Every automaker and vehicle is different, but there are a few universal steps that everyone should be aware of. Select V2L or bi-directional charging. Depending on your vehicle, you'll likely have to select the bi-directional feature in the infotainment system or settings interface. Many offer the ability to set a discharge limit to prevent draining the EV battery too far. Connect the cable. Kia, Hyundai, and others offer an adapter that enables their V2L functionality. You'll need to connect the adapter and a cable to the vehicle's charging port to extract electricity before connecting it to the home interface. Follow the directions in your vehicle's infotainment system or owner's manual to properly set up the cable and connection. Monitor the energy usage. Once your vehicle is connected and the tech interface is configured to charge an external device or home, use the automaker's app or on-screen information to determine the energy output and speeds. Check for errors and issues. Your vehicle's in-cabin technology interfaces should display any error messages or problems related to the V2L feature. If you notice that it's no longer providing electricity or is experiencing an error, take the time to rectify the issue before attempting to continue using V2L. Which EVs offer V2L? While it might seem like a future pipe dream, many current EVs come with V2L functionality out of the box. This is a partial list of the models on sale now with bi-directional charging capabilities. Nissan Leaf. Nissan partnered with Fermata Energy to offer V2L functionality on Leaf vehicles from the 2013 model year or newer. It's worth noting that the feature requires a Fermata Energy charger. Ford F-150 Lightning. Ford started offering a generator function for the hybrid PowerBoost F-150s before releasing the Lightning EV, and the automaker's electric truck carried on with the feature. Genesis, Hyundai, and Kia. The South Korean trio offers several vehicles with bi-directional functionality, including the Kia EV6, EV9, and Nero EV, the Genesis GV60 and electrified G80-GV70, and the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Ioniq 6. Jeep Wrangler 4XE. Though it's a plug-in hybrid instead of a full EV, the Jeep Wrangler 4XE offers V2L functionality using the Mopar Powerbox. General Motors. Several GM EVs come with V2L, including the Chevrolet Blazer EV, Equinox EV, and Silverado EV. Additionally, the GMC Sierra EV and Cadillac Lyric offer the feature, and the automaker has promised many future models with the technology. Lucid Air. The world's longest-range EV also offers V2L and can provide up to 9.6 kilowatts of power to another electric model. Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. 
Another plug-in hybrid, the Outlander FEV's top trim, can supply up to 1.5 kilowatts of power. Tesla Cybertruck. Love it or hate it, the Tesla Cybertruck can deliver up to 9.6 kilowatts of juice to external devices. Volkswagen ID.4. The ID.4 got a recent update that allows models with 77 kilowatt hour battery packs and larger to provide power for up to 48 hours, depending on the grid and demand. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.